Hi, this is James with Understand Your Mac, and for this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to set up personal domain using MobileMe and GoDaddy. Now, if you're a MobileMe user, um, the neat thing or a neat feature that Apple's added in recent years is that you can have a personal web address to host your um, websites too, so you don't have to have that long mobile me address or previously the long dot mac address. Instead you can have something more personal like this one we're going to do uh, live with excitement. And I need to thank Larry for e emailing me and e suggesting that I do this because I wasn't going to do this podcast until later. But let's go ahead and tackle it now. You can see that I'm at the mobile me website and I'm going to log in real quick off screen. Okay, so I'm logged in to my MobileMe account on the internet, and I'm going to go right up to the silhouette right here and click on that. And you can see it's going to ask for my address or my um, password again, just for safety reasons. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And now we're in the account portion of my MobileMe website here. And I can go ahead on the left here and click on personal domain. And that takes me to this page. Now, real quick, I'm going to bring up iWeb and show you another way you can get here. It's going to take you through very similar steps, but you can click on file and choose set up personal domain on mobile me. And that's the second way to get there. I just automatically go this way. So I'm click on add domain and I'm going to type in my domain name, which is livewithexcitement.com. And then I click on continue. And we get this message here. It says, before your website can be viewed at your personal domain, you must complete the following steps. Go to your registrar's website, which in our case is going to be GoDaddy, and add web.me.com to the C name. So I have GoDaddy up here in a separate tab. I'm going to sign in real fast. And then I'm going to click here on Domain Manager. And click on my domain, which is Live With Excitement. And then go right here where it says Total DNS Control and MX Records. Now right here under C Names, you can see where it says www and then has an ampersand here. We're going to change that by clicking on this little edit button right there. It says, are we sure we want to modify it? Yes, we are. Now, I've seen a lot of things on the internet that tell you to change what this www says and, and don't do it. Leave it www. Don't put your mother's maiden name in there. Don't put your pet's name in there. Um, don't put in an identifier that you think will stand out for you in there. Leave it www, and the reason why is because you want people to be able to get to your address whether they put in the HTTP slash slash address and type it in that way, or if they just put www and then your web address. And leaving www in this field will let them do that. If you change it, it's going to be a mess. So we're going to leave that the way it is, and then we're going to put web.me.com right here and we click OK. And it lets us know that it modified the record successfully. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window and it brings us, then I'm going to go back to mobile me. And now that we've done that, we're going to click on done. But there's an important thing to note here. It says your registrar, of course, which is GoDaddy in this case, can take up to 48 hours to update your domain. Now, in my experience, that doesn't happen. Um, it doesn't take that long anymore. It used to. GoDaddy's pretty quick, um, but a lot of times the servers that you work with or your internet provider can take longer to update their records. So, like Comcast, I found, can take quite a while. But now that we've finished, you can see it says that um, MobileMe is configured to host your domain, which is livewithexcitement.com. I'm going to click on this and see if it's already updated our website or not. And look at that, it has. So you can see that in this case, 
it happened immediately. In your case, you know, it may happen differently depending on where you're located and who your internet provider is. But setting up personal domain using GoDaddy is just that easy. And thank you again to Larry for suggesting this topic. So I'm James with Understand Your Mac, and I wish you a great day.